everyone, and welcome to My Crippling Bank Account, the show where I spend copious amounts of money and you point and laugh. And, whoo! <laughs> do we have a fun video for you today? Now, this guy uh, I've shown on the channel before. If you've watched all the My Crippling Bank Accounts, which you should, you'll notice this guy. You'll know this guy as the Jack Pacific 2019 Godzilla figure. This guy's big! He's big! He's very large, much larger than the three-inch Godzilla figure, which was released with all the little play sets. Uh, and I really like this guy. This is a very big figure. Hold on. Yep. It's about a foot tall. And yeah, this is this is a big Godzilla. This is the biggest Godzilla I own. Or at least it used to be. <laughs> Let me tell you the story of the Jax Pacific 40 inch long Godzilla 2014. Now prepare yourself. This is the biggest boy. This is officially the biggest Godzilla you can get. Like from what I've been able to find, this is the largest Godzilla figure that one could own. Like one could, like this is the biggest one. Fair word of warning, this boy is big. <laughs> So, keep in mind, this is the, uh, this is the 2019. All right, are you ready? Here he comes. Oh, he's so big. Whoa! Oh, you, wow. Whoo! This is it. This, I think, is the, this is the biggest toy I've ever reviewed. Full stop. Like, I knew that I- I know that I was going to review, like, the new Sonic toys this time, but, uh, this- this- this story literally happened today! Uh, so, it- it kind of- content fell out of the sky to me. Uh, so let's compare to the Sonic that I was going to review. Eh. Oh, you can't see it? Yep. And the, it's so big. So where did I find just this, this sheer specimen of a thing? Did I go on eBay? No, I found this at Goodwill. They had they had two of the boys, and I, I rescued I rescued one of the boys. There's the other boy. Hold on. There, there he is. Oh wow. Mario Ball. Does he like it? I think he enjoys the Mario Ball. There were two of them! There were two of them at Goodwill! Sadly, I did not take any pictures with the both of them. Sadness and regrets. But yes, I did choose one of these boys, and they were very happy to be taken home with me. And, ooh, baby. This guy was very dirty. What am I research on today? Get his, get his spikes! Yeah. There we go. Get them all clean. Get them all clean. Ah, uh, he's a clean boy. Come on, Goji. Mmm, Goji's getting his bath. Goji's getting a big bath. It's so large. Oh, and his, his legs are messed up, so he's stepping weird. There was like dirt and grime all down these spines right here. And I have to imagine that those uh, screw holes, which are pretty obvious, and that's actually kind of annoying, we're not doing that great. But yeah, he's a... Uh, you may have noticed, he's a clean boy. And that's because I gave him a little bit of a bath. All right, Goji. Swipe off that sadness. But even after his bath, there are some issues. Uh, notably, uh... The way that his jaw lines up is, uh, well, it's a, it's a very special boy, let me, let me say that. Uh, and his eyes are not going in the same direction at all. This one is, man, I wish this guy will stop telling me a story. And this one over here is actual proper Angi boy Goji. So yeah, the eyes are not exactly as good as one would hope, unfortunately. 
Uh, and of course there's the other big issue if we go all the way down to the end. Oh, dear. <laughs> Both of them came like this. Both of them were missing the tip of the tip. I don't understand how. I don't understand why. Because, uh, as other reviews have shown... Oh, come on, come on. The tail attaches like that. So this bit, with the swingy stub, this was attached. Apparently this bit... Just, oh, it's such a, it's so sad, honestly. And you know, I was thinking about actually getting another one of these. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we'll get into why this figure is so awesome in a bit, but I just noticed this. This is a battery compartment. But if you notice, there's like, there's, there's nothing in this. There's no, it's not a screw. This is not a battery compartment. There's nothing in here. And there's supposed, there's like the speaker here. But guys, the speaker's filled in. It's full. It's filled. And this was in all of the reviews that I saw of this thing. They just, they planned to add a speaker arrangement, couldn't do it. And then just left the figure like that, and it just released under retail store shelves. But man, when it comes to the benefits, it's 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 really it's really good. Uh, first of all, I always thought this figure right here, this one, I always thought this guy was really lazy because he's basically just a scale up of the tiny figure. He's got a lot of dust. Don't worry about it. Uh, he's basically just a scale up of the tiny figure, but like missing features because he can't swivel up the head. And the little figure had that, and he has like a separation between the jaw and the and the and the everything, and he has like rubbery hands and rubbery feet, and it looks, if you see there, there's a seam line there. I used to think that that was a joint, and I tried to twist it, and nothing happened. Meanwhile, on this guy, who released five years prior, mind you, and is basically, basically the same sculpt, just scaled up. Look. Wrist articulation! This sculpt benefits so much from that wrist articulation, but look! Better! Head articulation! And of course, the one thing that's on neither of the other two, an opening mouth with a fully sculpted in tongue! This is really nice! Now, okay, I'll give this figure this. It's. It's decent, and of course it has the better design, because, I mean, ugh, come on, these spikes are so much better than these. Lame, lumpy things. I really am not, like, the biggest fan of the 2014 design. I think the 2019 design is great. I think the, I think this design is better than this one. It basically just streamlined the best parts of this and, you know, added all the parts that everybody always wanted, including fixing the feet and making them more, you know, talon-like instead of the weird elephant feet. But, guys. Guys. <laughs> This beast is huge! It's gigantic! Okay, Squirtle, right? I've said before that Squirtle is a really, really big plush of mine. Squirtle... Ugh. Squirtle... Like, the, like they're comparable size. And he's like sinking into the bed. So, he could actually have a decent... Yeah, yeah, that's... He, like, goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with, like, the biggest plush that I have. And that's one of the coolest bits is just how freaking big he is. Like, God, he's even comparable in size to the Godzilla that's on this giant freaking poster on my wall. Now, obviously, when it comes to the tail, I'm not that excited about the stump action experience. And, you know, I could just, like, rip the tail off of that guy and just sort of forcefully apply it to this guy and it actually would line up decently well and we would get the full length of this glorious beast but I kind of don't want to do that I'll be honest I kind of don't want to lose the tail to the to the other guy by just forcefully shoving it in this hole here so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna re reattach it just there, 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 it's fixed. And I'm just gonna keep this guy as he is. Stumpy tail or not, he's already, he's proven his worth. He's a good boy, he's a good boy.
you know, I just kind of find it so funny that history has basically just repeated itself. Because, just look, I found this guy, the original 12-inch uh, Final Wars Bandai figure, uh, at a Goodwill for $2. Actually, no, it was $1, and I think it was uh, half price day, so I got it for 50 cents. 50 cents for this guy, and the only issue is the fact that there's something rattly inside, and... Mm, uh, kind of schmutz, but, you know, he's pretty decently sized. He's he's big. And, yeah, this was one of the biggest Godzillas in my collection. Of course, this was the biggest Godzilla previously, but now... They just look minuscule compared to this beast. And I understand. I understand the want, the need, for something like the NECA 2014 figure, and I get it. Listen, I get it. I've seen the reviews, and yes, I do agree. Like, joints here, joints here, much better articulation across the board, and of course, like, a comparable size. However, this thing is 40 inches long. And I'll be honest, with the articulation it has, it is limited, don't get me wrong. It only has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points of articulation, plus its swinging tail, making that 11. It's not the most poseable Godzilla figure in the world, but, I mean, come on, like, Bandai vinyls only have, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, but they don't, they don't have much articulation, and I was really disappointed in the articulation of this guy because it was really restrictive, whereas this guy, he's a lot more expressive. You can see in the photos that I've had a lot more fun with this guy than I ever had with this stupid brick, and it's just... I love him. I love him so dearly. And of course, the 2014 film has like a special place in my heart because it was the first Godzilla film I ever properly saw. Like I saw other Godzilla films like on cable before this, but I always I was only like catching snippets of like say GMK. Whereas this, this guy was like my first proper Godzilla, even if he is, you know, questionably utilized in his debut movie and even if that debut movie hasn't really held up to the highest degree he's still he's still a good boy and you know what i i volunteer to love him there are white spots on him oh all right just because i think it would be funny uh i'm just gonna do some quick size comparisons before we close the video out because th this guy's huge and i still just can't get over it so yeah here is the uh here is the original goodwill find uh final wars bandai figure this is the original version, not the Playmates re-release that, that you can find in stores nowadays, which, you know, isn't all too great, but, you know, this, this one's fine. And this is the original Big Business Brick Boy uh, that I got as an Easter gift in 2019, and some of my friends may remember that I actually posted pictures of this guy in awe at the size of this lad, because he was the biggest Godzilla in my collection. Not anymore! Here is another thing that I advertised as, you know, big boy on my channel. The amazing, huge Cinderace plush. Uh, yes, this guy towers over big plushes. And this guy, of course, is the amazing Cinderace with the uh, joints in him. And he has, and he's like posable. He's a really cool plush. And he still holds up to this day. Yes. I do know that I didn't need to go where I did to get this plush. Shut up! Here he is next to the original, very first episode of my crippling bank account, Marini. Um, and yeah, it is. Oh my god! Th oh no! Oh, Marini's filthy! Ew! Here he is next to the giant Pikachu, which is actually huggable, and I have, like, actually hugged for years of my life. Again, he towers over. Here he is next to my boy, the movie Sonic plush that I reviewed last time. And yeah, his eyes are a bit more of an issue than I let on initially. They're really small and actually kind of make him a little bit unappealing, but I still love him. He's so fluffy and he's actually perfect to hug. But yeah, here he is next to him. And I don't have Skylinks with me at the moment, but I do have, if you remember, if you remember that video, I do have the box. <laughs> the box that I played up as so big in the video, once again, just 
freaking towers over this thing. And it also puts into perspective how small re my review setup actually is. And of course, here he is next to the tallest box that I have. This is the 11 Doctors set box. Yeah, he is much bigger than the 11 Doctors set box. Here he is next to my keyboard playing son. I love him. He's small and fluffy. He has sunglasses and I will never stop loving him. He is absolutely amazing and I'm so happy that they made an official King Ghidorah plush with sunglasses because that's my brand. So, yeah. And here he is next to me. Uh, God, I feel inferior. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is the guy. This is the, the biggest Godzilla plush ever made. So yeah, that's basic. That's basically it. Thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic night. And also, thank you, Dank Paws, whose style of videos basically inspired this entire production essentially that is happening right now and i know that i've been like slightly imitating dank pods the entire time like with the energy and some of the mannerisms i'm sorry i've just been watching dank pods non-stop the entire day and you should too it's an amazing channel uh but yeah if you haven't seen all the other uh my crippling bank account videos please do go watch them they are it's it's been a long journey and i hope to actually see you with a proper movie sonic toy review sooner rather than later so yeah Thank you all for watching, have a fantastic night, and take care.